Hi everyone, how are you today? I wanted to show you this adorable card I made. I'm new to the Distress Oxide Party and I've been playing around with them after getting some uh, on the Black Friday sales. And so I wanted to make a little card just for a cheerful pick-me-up for a friend. So this is my process and how I made it. So here's the materials I used. I used a Strathmore marker pad. I used this Kelly Create stamp. I used the one on the top. A Crafter's Companion Have a Beautiful Day stamp at the bottom. And this is a Spellbinder die cut that says Hello. And I used a couple of little flower dies that I had. I used my Versamark ink and I had Distress Oxide in the Chipped Sapphire and Wild Orchid and a spray in the yellow. I also had a spray bottle of water and some white embossing powder. Alright, so now I'm going to grab my Tonic Studio stamping platform. I use my embossing buddy to make sure there's no sticky residue on the paper. And I use the Versamark and go ahead and ink up the stamps really well. I'll probably put it on a couple of times because I want it really wet and my Versamark is starting to run out of oomph. After I've heat set the embossing powder, I go ahead and grab my Distress Oxide and I put it on starting at the top with the blue. I want it heavy at the top with the blue, fading into the center, and heavy at the bottom with the purple, fading into the center. So that is my overall game plan. It takes me a couple of times of going back and forth to make it look the way I want, but eventually I get it. When it's all done, I dry it with my heat gun and then I take a dry rag and just try to uh, wipe off any excess distress oxide from the embossed area. So the white shows through a little bit better. Then I take a small paintbrush with just plain water and go over the center of the daisies on the heart. I don't want the distress oxide in blue and purple to react with the yellow distress oxide once I put it on. And then I take that spray bottle with the water and I just get some paper as a background so it doesn't go all over the place and spritz a couple of spritzes of plain water and then I'll dry it with the heat gun and then spritz it again and dry it. I don't want to have big droplets. I just want to add a little bit of texture to the front of the card. Then I'm going to take the yellow spray which is in mustard seed, spritz it a little bit on some paper, use that paintbrush, and just paint in the petals of the daisies. I also spritz some of the yellow uh, Distress Oxide Spray and rubbed it in on a piece of paper. I'm just going to use that for the sentiment. I trim down the front of the card and then back it on blue and then I put that on a pre-folded uh, four and a quarter by five and a half card. Now I'm going to take that yellow piece of paper and cut out a hello sentiment on it. I've already cut out two of the bottom layers of that two layer hello in white. So there's a little bit of dimension, but not too much. So I'll cut that out and add that to the front of the card. Now here I'm taking the yellow flowers that I had die cut and I'm going to punch out a couple of holes from my hole puncher and add that to the center of the flowers after I put them on the inside of the card just, just for a little pizzazz. And the card is pretty much finished at this point but as I take a look at it I decide it needs just a little bit of pizzazz and sparkle. So I take some adhesive gems from my stash and add some to the centers of all those daisies. And I think it came out pretty good. I haven't played with Distress Oxides that much, and I'm pretty pleased with the results. 
So I hope you liked watching me make this card and learn something. I'd love to hear about what your results have been with Distress Oxide and what your favorite technique is with Distress Oxide. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, please. And subscribe so you can see other videos coming up. Thanks again. Have a great day.